Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We're on the way to a random location today. Stop it. Start again. Start again. <laughs> Seriously, start again. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today... Start again, starts drinking. <laughs> These okay. are the great bloopers. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We are on the way to Seville and we're gonna go there without any art supplies. And the task of the day is to find some art shops and find something different, but also create three different drawings of the city during the day. So that's the challenge and we're on our way. It takes two hours from where we are to get to this city. And yeah, we'll see you when we're there, I guess. After a couple of hours of traveling, we finally got to Seville and it was beautiful. Oh my gosh, if you ever get a chance to visit this city, I would visit it. I think like every single building was just this amazing architectural structure. And considering I only live two hours away and I've never been there before is kind of a tragedy and I'm definitely going again, so there's that. So the premise of the day was obviously to go there without any art supplies and just buy art supplies or acquire them and do like a little bit of a challenge of trying to draw some things that we see throughout the city or draw something that we have from our day, do a little bit of a, maybe a, a diary sketchbook and we just had maybe about six hours there and what happens in Spain from two to five the shops shut because they have a siesta because it gets too hot in the day so they just shut down the shop so we got there about 12 half 12 and we knew that this art store was somewhere in town so we kind of hot-footed it all the way there and when we got to the shop we were so tired out but yeah we finally made it to this art shop and it had all the supplies that we could dream of because where we live there's not many art supplies so to drive two hours away and find this amazing store was really actually quite cool so we got some lots of art supplies I figured out I needed a new sketchbook because I need a new sketchbook anyway because I've nearly finished this one that I'm working on now so I thought I could continue on with it but the one that I pick kind of will be for experimental things in the future rather than my main sketchbook which you'll find out so I needed a new sketchbook and I thought I would just buy some stuff that I wouldn't be able to buy from home so it was really nice to just browse and see things that I wouldn't see unless I actually went to Amazon and thought about purchasing it so it was interesting to see different things that I could consider buying and I really enjoyed it because I got to see different watercolor brands that I hadn't really heard of or I heard of them in passing and then not really thought about so it was good to be able to test them out so you'll see what I buy but I got a couple of different brands of watercolors to just test out and use it for the purpose of this video as well. So yeah, this art store was great and I really enjoyed it. Watching this back, I realized that the sound was really bad. So I'm gonna do a voiceover of what I'm saying here and hopefully you guys can get the general gist of it. I went to the art shop and I bought some stuff. I got this watercolor sketchbook and it's a weird sketchbook with loads of pages which obviously, yes, yeah, Steph, a sketchbook is made of papers. But what I was trying to say is that it kind of feels like it's handmade feel of sketchbook and it's like really thick watercolor papers in it. So I think it's really nice. And yeah, I got some stickers because I couldn't resist them either. I got a little watercolor pan and because I'm going to make some watercolor little, myself. Boxes. I don't know if I can find out with, the word. Um, um, Chris is telling me that this was. <laughs> I don't think that's right, but we're going to just say that it's an empty palette and obviously I made a mistake there because I put the watercolour in and it doesn't really work how I think. I got this Amsterdam acrylic marker and I think it's a really good, um, I thought they were like Posca pens because they're paint pens and I thought it would be interesting to try out. I only got one of them because obviously I've just bought a set of Molotow pens as well so I didn't really want to buy too many of them. I got a white one as well because I think it's cool to have a good um, opaque white to go over the top of stuff. It's interesting and helpful. Obviously I needed some paint brushes so I got these like just simple basic watercolour brushes just to go with the set for today. I don't know how good they'll be but I'll just keep using them and see how it goes. <laughs> and I'm saying maybe it's something I should have just brought along with me which yeah that makes sense Steph. Just bring paint brushes next time. I bought some polychromous pencils as well which I really like and they were just some different colours to what I usually have so I got those and they're just really nice pastel colours. So I got a few different watercolours, I got these um, Van Gogh watercolours and I have never heard of them before so I just thought I'd get them to try them out because it's interesting when I come across watercolour brands to just try something different. So I got the three, you know, um, primary colours so you can just mix them 
and I got one Rembrandt series because it's a bigger one so I went more for the Van Gogh ones because they had the small sizes which made more sense for the premise of the video and I'm just going to use them and see what happens basically and that's the end of my fake voiceover first of all we're going to eat some pokey and then we're going to see what we come up with so I already opened this and put that there but it doesn't come with the little thing so I guess I'm just gonna use this area and hope for the best um, probably won't work out but whatever just um, basically playing with it at the moment just doing some swatches but not really swatches just like testing the paper and seeing how the paints work with it I'm not a huge fan of these paintbrush because I don't think it can hold a lot of water so it's kind of just like making do at the moment with this paintbrush but I can see this paper is super nice so I'm glad I got it because I can see me using it at home as well sorry about the noise we are out in Seville so there are people about Chris found this sketchbook um, he is a master of finding sketchbooks I'm so proud of him the problem is I feel like I'm wasting this page because there's not very many pages and it's like properly thick watercolour paper but I guess I've got to try out the materials I have right I think it's pretty cool these paints are nice so I can be using them today I want to try out this acrylic marker yeah the same as oh, oh my god <laughs> intimidated <laughs> I want to try out this um, because I like Posca's and the Molotow paint markers so this one's going to be the same as that hopefully super Juicy, watery, watery. juicy, watery. Watery. It's juicy. It's nice. It's actually really nice. <laughs> I'm kind of annoyed I didn't buy more. Look at that, it's really cool. How much is the paper doing the work and how much is it the pen? I don't know because there is like some pulling of the paper. But I don't know if it's coming from this or from the paper. I think it's the paper. Kind of normal with acrylic markers, we found that out with the other videos. Um, not pressing hard by the way if you're wondering that, I'm just pressing really lightly because somebody said that on the video before but I think it just happens because it's just really concentrated so yeah I, I really like it. I'm gonna try the polychromos even though I know these are pretty good because um, I have a few at home but I'll try it out on this paper pen. I also got this Pigma BB pen because I needed, I felt like I needed a black pen. Okay, that's my equipment for today. So I think we can definitely get some good stuff done. We need to go now and find some buildings to draw, which I don't think is going to be too difficult considering the city is beautiful. Peace. <laughs> <laughs> Form beautiful days, Tobin. Okay, it's super bright, but I don't care. Um, we're done with Seville, we're done with it. We had a really good time, and we walked a lot. We bought some art supplies, and you can see here I've done a lot of sketches. I didn't draw as many buildings as I would have liked to have drawn, but it was fun to just see the city and get inspired anyway. Um, I think I did a lot of doodles and it was really cool to just go somewhere without any art supplies and just see what they have here and actually I was really surprised they had really like a good selection of stuff so it worked out in the end and I'm definitely going to be using those things at home because this 
watercolor one it was really handy to have so it's going to be my new sketchbook when it comes out and yeah so that's it guys i hope you like this video and i will see you next time bye